What is going on, guys? This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Joe, and as you can see, Kyle over here got himself quite the beard shave. Anyways, I am joined by my beautiful wife, Steph, as she's going to help us out with some amazing new products from none other than Copper John's. Steph, first and foremost, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Are you excited to be back on the channel? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the last time, the last time that you and I did a video together, we did the little nitro gummy bear challenge. That was quite the hit. So we're sorry to disappoint you guys, but this is going to be just a normal review. No hot stuff today, but we're still very excited to talk about these products. Steph, what are you going to be talking about? I'm going to be talking about his body butter. Okay. Nice. And what scent do you got there? I have the lemongrass. All right. So definitely can't wait to break that down. But this is the part of the video where you have to hit that pause button. And please make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. If you are enjoying our content, we definitely want you to continue to join uh, the ride that we've been on for just over a year now. And um, if you're also enjoying the content, please make sure that you're not only sharing our content, but hit that notification bell so you're not missing any of our future content. But stay tuned after this intro and we will be right back. Welcome back, guys. So this is where we talk about the price and the presentation of all these awesome products. And I will kick us off with the bar soap that is going to run you at about $7. And that is what it looks like there. So as you can see, it comes in a cardboard container there where with a hole cut out. So you can still see and smell that awesome soap. And then on the back there, you got the logo with the scent profile, the name of the scent, and of course your ingredients. <clears throat> and then for the um, solid cologne, this is the tin that it comes in. And this is gonna run you at about $19.95. And I struggle with this all the time when my hands are greasy, but it slides just like that. I'm, I'm just okay on the on the sliders, but I understand why you'd want to do something like this for a solid cologne. It's not too bad. It's pretty good presentation there. I, I, I dig it. Do you like it? I do. Yeah. Have you heard of a solid cologne before? No, I haven't. No, actually, I'm really new to it. This is actually the very first time that I've, that I've used a solid cologne too. So very interesting product for sure. Steph, what do you have to share? I <laughs> have the body butter. I have the lemongrass scent. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what the inside looks like okay and this runs about $19 about $19 all right all right so let's talk about the scents and then we'll move right over to how these felt uh for us So the body butter that I picked is the lemongrass. It is the lavender and sweet lemon. When you first smell it, you get a whiff of the lavender and then kind of a sweetness, which would be the lemon at the end. And it really has a nice combination. It's very relaxing and it's also kind of crisp with the lemon. So I really enjoyed the scent of it. It was really crisp and relaxing at the same time. Okay. Yeah, no, I definitely... Uh... I definitely get what you're what you're saying there. It's kind of like a sweet and sour type, not like a sweet and sour sauce, but like sweet from the lavender, sour from the lemon. No. No. Okay. Sorry. I get like a freshness from the lemon. I get the sweetness of the lavender and then like a nice crisp fresh with the lemon. I got you. Okay. Definitely smells great. I would love to wear this at night. And I've, I've tried this a couple times, but yeah, you stole it a couple times that night and you've done some damage on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, 
overall you like the scent? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's a very cool one. So uh, the Nightfall Cologne here, um, if you go back into the very first time that we've done a Copper John's review, we did a complete breakdown of this scent. This is one of his four um, original scents that he came out with. Um, it is an excellent, very well executed cologne. I mean, talking about like your perfect date night type cologne, or if you wanted to wear something for an important meeting at work, so anything like that. This is definitely the kind of cologne that you that you'd want to wear. Do you would you like me wearing a cologne like this? Yeah. Yeah. What do you kind of, what do you get out of it? Is it like I get like a kind of like a musky, <laughs> definitely manly for sure. It's manly, but it's also like a very like like when I think of you wearing it, you're wearing like a crisp suit. Okay. Okay. Almost like you're going to like a wedding or like a very important like event yeah that you need to like be sharp it's like a sharp type scent okay all right would you have a good day night with me if i was wearing it always always all right all right and then for the uh bar soap this is the dark forest and this is going to be an oak moss aloe and light floral scent and what i really liked about this scent is the fact that um you do get that ruggedness from the um from the oak moss very very outdoorsy and then you do get that nice little floral um undertones that, that come from it um the aloe is the aloe is very interesting and i definitely get the aloe a lot in this and i know like aloe is something that we use a lot especially with our sensitive skins and getting sunburned all the time yeah do you, do you get that aloe like i do i definitely do yeah uh -huh. I feel like I get it first and then I get the oak moss second. Okay. How would you describe like an oak moss type scent? Like it's just kind of like, it's just very outdoorsy, very rugged. It kind of just smells like the forest after it rains. Okay. Oh, I like that description. Like a very like crisp rain, like a misty rain in the forest. All right. Kyle may have just lost his spot. That was a very good description. So yeah, Sorry, so, those, so those are the scents of these awesome products. Let's talk about how these felt and let's conclude. All right, so I'm gonna kick us off with uh, the products that I primarily use. Now I do know that you did use the bar soap a couple times, correct? Yes. Okay, so we'll, we'll just go ahead and we'll start off with the bar soap. Uh, so the actual soap that we have used is actually the lemongrass uh, soap. Um, did the soap, and we probably should have said this in the last segment, but did the scent of the soap translate well to the body butter? Were they pretty identical? Yeah, they were very much identical. Okay, so they were really good to pair with them mm -hmm. after a shower or something? Okay. Um, so I really enjoyed the bar soap. Now, of course, when it comes to bar soaps, I am not only focusing on how it felt on my skin, but for me, most importantly, is how it worked in my beard. I definitely really found that these uh, bars of soaps are good everyday uses for your beard if you wanted to do so. It definitely wasn't something that stripped uh, my beard too much. Um, I personally prefer a normal, uh, beard wash rather than using a bar soap. And I do primarily use them for my body rather than my beard. But when I do, um, I usually have pretty good experiences. I think it's, I just prefer using like a wash instead. How did you like the uh, soap? My skin is pretty picky when it comes to soap. Mm -hmm. First of all, the scent was amazing. It stayed on my skin after I washed it off. It it smelled amazing in the shower while I was using it. Mm -hmm. But to me, after a couple hours, it kind of dried my skin out and I really needed the butter mm -hmm. to add to it. Um, but I'm also extremely picky when it comes to soaps with my skin. So it could have just been me, Okay. but it did dry my skin out a little bit after an hour or two after the shower. Okay. And, and that's, and that's interesting. And yeah, I mean, everybody, just like me and Kyle always preach, every beard is different. <laughs> Well, we all have different skin too. I did not get that same experience as Steph did, but if you are somebody with sensitive skin and maybe you have to be, you know, really 
picky and choosy on, on soaps, you know, always be on the lookout, you know, read the ingredients, ask questions if you're not sure about something. Um, but yeah, we all share different experiences. So good job on that. Um, let me dive right into the solid cologne. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is like the first time that I've ever used a solid cologne. Um, before I started using beard products, I uh, was using uh, colognes uh, quite uh, quite regularly. One of my favorite ones was the Polo Red that uh, Steph had gotten me for an awesome Valentine's Day gift one year. Um, and she absolutely fell in love with it. And that was really the only cologne that I ever wanted to use. Um, now, using a solid cologne is definitely a different experience. Um, I do know that solid colognes are uh, usually cheaper to make and they're also uh, cheaper to buy. So they can definitely be more convenient for people who may just not want to, you know, put the money out for what a normal bottle or um, jar of cologne would uh, would run you, which, you know, as we all know, can be very, very expensive. I did not mind this really whatsoever. The best thing to do is put a little bit on your wrists and maybe a little bit on your neck, just like you would if you were going to, you know, spray. Um, I thought the smell was outstanding and the smell actually lasted a pretty good, uh, I would say a full workday. So look, looking about eight hours. The only thing that I, I would say is I would still probably prefer a normal cologne uh, just because, you know, I'm already putting beard products in my beard uh, when you're talking about an oil or a balm or a butter. So it does kind of get redundant when you're starting to put more. So after you do that, you're putting more, you know, of that kind of stuff like on your skin. I like to just, if I was going to do some, I would rather just kind of spray it on me. Um, but I would say Tyson absolutely executed it very well. I'm really starting to see why more and more companies are starting to produce these and why they are starting to get uh, more popular in the beard game. So uh, did we cover yours yet? We did not cover yours. So let's go ahead and do yours now. <clears throat> the body butter, the consistency was pretty thick. Mm which I really liked because if you want a butter, you kind of want a thicker type of consistency. Um, Why don't you show that off one more time? I, mean, I don't know if you want to get some on your hands. You want me to get some on my hands? I can't, I just got to take my ring off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it is pretty thick. There you go. And that's what a typical butter should be. Um, it rubs really nice in your hands. Mm -hmm. And what I really like is it, immediately soaks into your skin. It immediately starts to soak in and there's no greasy after feeling. Some lotions or butters, you really get kind of a greasy feeling at the end when you're done rubbing in your skin and you kind of feel like tacky. This butter, you don't. It soaks right in. It makes your skin feel nice and moisturized. What I also really liked was after washing my hands a couple of times throughout the day, my skin still felt smooth. It smelled, mm. it felt smooth. And I still had the scent of the lemongrass still on my skin, which I really enjoyed because some lotions or butters, as soon as you wash your hands, the lotion's gone and the scent's gone and you have to reapply. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have to reapply until maybe I would say like five hours. Mm. And even then it wasn't the same amount that I used in the beginning. It was maybe like half that size and my skin still felt super smooth, super fresh and soft. Awesome. So overall, it sounds like you had a really good experience with it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, you know, snuck and used it a couple of times and <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't like body butters or body lotions or anything like that. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just weird like that. And I know that they are good. Um, I'm sure I would be doing my skin, especially my arms, legs, probably my feet too. <laughs> um, a lot of, <laughs> a lot, a lot of favors if I use that uh, kind of stuff more. Um, I just hate putting on stuff like that and then putting on a shirt and just having it like stick to you and just or laying in bed and having the sheet stick to you. It's just something that always bothers me. I don't know, but either way, <laughs> You know, I'm allowed to have my opinion too. <laughs> but anyways, Tyson does seem like he executed it very well. Sounds like I have a very happy wife. Mm -hmm. And would you recommend that I would rebuy a product like that for you from yes. Copper Johns? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So you heard it from the queen herself. Any final words before we take off? 
Copper John, just keep doing what you're doing. Hey, Tyson, you heard it. So, hey, I, we really hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, keep it growing. And you know we'll talk to you at the next one. Cousin and wife, out. <laughs>